Karen Bryan for MA Heat. I'm here with Christoph Szynski. One of We've the, done this a few times. I was just going to say, I was just going to say an MMA Heat favorite here. <laughs> Christoph, why, why do you like the uh, the brand Rue and, and what, why did you want to get involved with these guys? Um, you know what? Comfortable clothing. Uh, I, I love training and stuff that you really don't feel it's on. And uh, these guys have really nice thin shirts. Uh, they feel comfortable. They kind of form fitting, which I really like. Uh, you know, feet don't get caught in them. Arms don't get caught in them when you're rolling with them. So, you know, it's all about comfort for me. And I really enjoy that with you, with, with the brand. And I know you're down with the keeping the keeping the planet healthy, the whole green element of the clothes. Of course, absolutely. That definitely helps, right? And, you know, eat organic food. You know, you dress organic. Why not? <laughs> Let's talk about what you've been doing. You know, you had a fight and you retired. But are you sure you retired? or what? I got one more. I, I have one more. Uh, I'm just getting over my knee surgery. Um, I'm hopefully I can be back by the end of this year. I would love to fight in Montreal if possible, but it's all up to my knees and I'm working really hard on rehabilitating that. Um, I do have one more fight before I'm done. Uh, I want to fight one more time. I want to get my 10th fight in the UFC. Uh, I would love to fight, you know, I mean, in Canada if possible, maybe in Europe if possible. So uh, Joseph and I are going to have a talk, talk very soon. I think we need you in the light heavyweight division. We need you. Don't leave us. No, I, you know what? I don't want to leave. It's really not up to me, I would love to fight for another five, ten years. But when my body's like telling me, "Hey, it's kind of time to do something else," nine knee surgeries. Um, I'm about to go in for another one, most likely. Um, you know, I have had 12 knee, 12 surgeries total. Um, you know, I've been in the head a few times. You know, kind of forgetting my words here and there sometimes. So my my, bo my body's kind of telling me, you know what? It's time to find something like movies where where I can fake punch and not get hurt. So, yeah, that's the next step. Well, that's what I was just going to ask you. You see the trailer for Here Comes the Boom, yeah. and you are all over that. Yeah. So talk about that. How did you get involved in that film? You know what? I, I had uh, Ryan Parsons told me, hey, there's a spot in there in the movie for you. Go audition. Go to Los Angeles and audition. Here's the number. I drove down to Los Angeles the very next day. I auditioned for the part. Three weeks later, I got a call saying, hey, we want you to be part of this movie. Uh, and I was really excited. And uh, kind of from there, it kind of grew. You know I mean? I had Immortals. I was uh, Mickey Rourke's stunt double in Immortals. I just did a small little part with Stone Cold Steve Austin, a movie in Vancouver. Uh, you know I mean? Trying to get on some other films over in, uh, when I go audition in Los Angeles. So things are looking up for me really well. So what's your character like in Here Comes the Boom? Um, I play a badass who, who gets to fight Kevin James. Awesome. But yeah, it was, it was a really good fun fight. Well, we've talked about that before, is that you you have the look. I mean, you really have the look for a movie bad guy. Not that you couldn't be in a romantic comedy, but you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta play to your strengths. No, no, absolutely. You know what I mean? The, I guess the bald head and the tattoos and the, and the muscles kind of help out. And uh, I've always been told, hey, you should do some movies and do some stunt work. And I've met uh, Garrett Warren, who's one of the best stunt coordinators in the world, and he's been helping me out big time and uh, I owe a lot to him and uh, he's always looking for movie projects for me so I thank him a lot for that. You're also working with Mark Munoz we know you're a big part of the Rain family we saw Mark the other day and hopefully we'll get this video up in time but uh, Mark, Mark's got a you know an interesting fight with Chris Weidman and that you know it has a lot of implications for where he's going in the division so how do you feel Mark's looking and, and what do you think about that matchup? You know what uh, it's definitely was a tough camp for Mark uh, I think with that elbow injury and surgery um, he was definitely a little down and depressed and uh, his weight kind of told us about that, you know, being up to 240 pounds. But, uh, you know, we, we got it down. He's looking really good. He spent the last 12 weeks, 12 to 14 weeks, training really hard. Uh, he's feeling great. We just had his last training, hard training session on Monday. Uh, he looked fantastic, um, feeling really good. And uh, I'm really looking forward to an enjoy enjoyable fight with him from him uh, this uh, this Wednesday. What is he? I love Mark's line. He goes, well, I was in shape. You know, round is a shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Round is a shape. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. You know what? It's 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 his heritage. It's his it's his family. It's his parents coming over to his house and cooking for him every day. Him flying to Philippines and eating the food over there. So we got him down on his diet now. He's he's doing good. He's uh he's he's, he's on my diet. And he's doing really well. I think he's got about 10 pounds left before he's done. So that's that's very easy for him. And we should mention the K-Sauce system. We talk about the Tupperware. We always joke it is Christoph and his GD Tupperware. But 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 what is the basics of your system and, and how does it work? You know, um, it's basically a strength training system, a, a nutrition system, and a conditioning system all wrapped up in one. So basically, I have Mark Munoz working with me before his uh, about 12 to 14 weeks out, working on some strength training. When we get closer to eight weeks out, we start doing conditioning. And during that whole time, he's uh, I'm basically providing him with a nutrition system where I cook all his meals for him. Uh, he basically gets fresh meals from me on a daily basis. And uh, yeah, the Tupperware meals—you hear Mayhem talking about it all the time, and Jake and uh, and Mark. So yeah, no, he's, he's been doing really well on it. Um, 
you know, hopefully it will uh, it'll get it'll get even bigger soon. Yeah, we we talked to Mayhem once, and he was he was like two hours out from a Tupperware, and he was yeah. not in a good mood. <laughs> uh, when you when you're a week out to two weeks out before yeah. your fight, uh, yeah, you're always looking forward to that Tupperware. I'll tell you that. He was jonesing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Christoph. Well, it's great to see you and, and continued success. Looking forward to seeing you in the octagon and on the big screen. I'm looking forward to that too. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, no, Jason was killing us that day. Because oh, yeah. he knew he was like he had just eaten and he was already hungry from working out.